All right, what's up, YouTube? So I'm over here. I'm about to record my podcast for my section of the podcast for Lyft's first podcast. And uh, they actually, they asked me to basically record a quick uh, four to five minute um, spiel or whatever you want to call it um, as part of their podcast. And so this is kind of their new initiative. And I think it's a pretty cool idea. Obviously, I'm a little biased because I run a podcast of my own. Um, for those of you who haven't checked it out, definitely search the Rideshare Guy in iTunes. It'll pop right up. The first and only five-star rated Rideshare podcast. We'll see how Lyfts does. But, you know, one of the cool things that I love about the podcast is it really feels like you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And, I mean, I kind of know because I started off listening to podcasts, just kind of how I get into a lot of these things as far as driving and blogging. You know, I kind of start off reading and start off listening, and then I kind of decide to try it and do it myself. So with these podcasts, you know, one of the things that I was finding was really cool was I was it's like I was having a one on one conversation with these podcasters. And so, you know, when it finally came time down to like go on one of my favorite podcasts, Entrepreneur on Fire podcast with John Lee Dumas, it was really cool because I was talking to him on the phone, you know, over Skype beforehand. And I said, man, I feel like I know this guy. I mean, you know, it's definitely a cool feeling. So you really get that one on one connection. And it really feels like for podcast listeners, it really feels like, you know, the the, per, the host is connecting with you. And I think that's a cool feeling. I think that's why podcasting is taking off and people are loving it so much. So I'm definitely psyched to be a part of this Lyft podcast, their first one. And I'm going to give you guys a little uh, behind the scenes look basically right now at me recording it. Hopefully I won't uh, mess up and I'll be able to get it in one shot. But uh, if not, you'll see a couple takes on this video. So uh, yeah, other than that though, definitely uh, be sure to head over and check out the Lyft podcast. I'll leave a, shink, a, a link in the show notes. Oops, this just popped up. But uh, yeah, so let's see. Um, so basically, I'm going to give them like five tips or four tips to earn more income or, you know, help drivers earn more money. So that's kind of what I like to focus on a lot with the site. And uh, they have a couple other people coming on. Um, I think, uh, let's see... They have their uh, referral king coming on, a driver in Nashville who's going to give tips and tricks uh, that every new driver should know, some drivers, New Year resolutions, and then uh, an interview with a higher up at Lyft headquarters. So I kind of decided I'm going to go something along the lines of income because that's, um, you know, what I, you know, I guess that's my specialty or whatever. So um, I'm going to do something like that, and I've got a few ideas jotted down here, so I'm going to record it right now, and we'll see how it goes. So this is your behind-the-scenes look. This is how the podcasts go down. Um, you can see i got my mic right here. It's ATR 2100. Nice, uh, pretty inexpensive mic. I think it's like 30 40 bucks on Amazon. Um, so let's do this. <clears throat> what's up lift nation this is the rideshare guy here and i'm psyched to be on part of lift's first podcast and uh, for those of you guys who don't know me i actually run my own podcast so if my voice is sounding a little bit familiar you know why um, it's called the Rideshare Guy podcast, though, and uh, my site is kind of dedicated to helping drivers earn more income, provide resources, and all that good stuff. So today is part of my segment uh, for the Lyft podcast. I'm going to go over four tips that are going to help drivers boost their January earning incomes. So basically, you know, you have uh, I don't really see, I don't really like how that's going. <laughs> all right, let's try that again. Sometimes I kind of start recording these and I kind of forget, like I forgot what I was going to title this podcast and I didn't want to go too deep into my site, <laughs> but we'll uh, try that one again. I didn't like that. All right. Second time's a charm. Hey, what's up, Lyft Nation? This is the Rideshare Guy here, and I'm psyched to be a part of the first Lyft podcast initiative. So for those of you guys who are finding my voice familiar, it may be because I run my own podcast, actually. It's called the Rideshare Guy podcast. It can be found in iTunes and Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. But I'm definitely psyched to be on the podcast today and be a part of it. 
Um, I'm going to give you guys four tips to boost your earnings right now. You know, we know January and February can be kind of a slow time. So basically, I just want to give you guys a couple uh, ideas, you know, going forward and see what I can do to help you. All right. So, um, you know, so the first tip that I have is try something new. Um, you know, a lot of drivers, they tend to get comfortable um, doing the same thing over and over. And, you know, all right, I'm going to drive Friday, Saturday nights. But at the same time, you have to remember that a lot of drivers are going to be out there. Um, a lot of drivers are going to be out there during those times. So it's really, you know, I think January and February, since your earnings might go down a little bit in general, because there's less rides, you know, December and the holidays are a really busy time. It's a great time to experiment. Try something new. Um, you know, try a new time, try a new place, try even try a new city. So, you know, for one kind of one of the strategies that I've perfected or not perfected, but discovered over the last year, the walk of shame pickups. And, you know, I like to call it that because it's the morning after the bars, you know, on the Friday, Saturday nights, I was doing that and I was finding, oh, it's starting to get a little bit saturated with drivers. So I said, hey, you know, I'm going to try the next morning and those next morning rides. Well, first of all, they're pretty fun. You would meet some interesting characters. But uh, other than that, you know, you don't have super high demand, but there aren't a ton of uh, drivers out. So um, that, that's kind of my first tip. Uh, number two, refer your friends. Now, I know uh, there's going to be another segment on the podcast about referrals, but, you know, I want to give you uh, a little bit of, of my own tips because um, as far as earning extra income, there's some cool things you can do as far as refer, referring your friends. If you're in a city that allows you to refer new passengers, then, uh, you know, I kind of like to go and do something a little different. I like to go and say, I tell my friends, hey, instead of spamming them, you know, on Facebook or Twitter or email, say, hey, come and take a ride, at, you know, get $10 off your first lift. Instead of doing that, I, I tell my friends, hey, how about I come to your house, pick you up and I'll give you your first ride. So then that way, you know, they get their first ride, but not only are they getting their first ride, but they're also getting it from you. So that's kind of a cool little feature because you'll get paid for the ride and then you'll also get paid for that referral fee. Now, uh, my tip number three is all about networking and side hustling. So I actually just did a whole podcast on this where I interviewed a few drivers who are doing some side hustles and kind of basically promoting their side businesses while they're driving. And, you know, kind of like any good uh, sharing economy worker, you've probably got a little entrepreneurial spirit in you. And that's probably why you what attracted you to rideshare in the first place. So if you have that, maybe there's a business that you promote or, you know, on my podcast, I brought on a masseuse and a guy who was running errands and, uh, you know, just basically people who are kind of coming up with creative ways to expand their income. And, you know, it really comes up naturally a lot of the times. You know, I definitely don't recommend that you kind of force it. But, you know, when passengers ask you, hey, uh, what, do you, what else do you do? You know, and we kind of know that's a common question or what do you do this full time? What you can tell them is say, oh, I actually run this side business. I'm an errand runner. Oh, I'm a masseuse. And obviously it's a great way to just promote your side business and just network in general. I mean, I think one of the things that uh, drivers don't take advantage of enough are the networking opportunities that can arise out of meeting people. When someone gets into your car, there's that instant level of trust and, you know, they feel safe and they trust you. So they, you know, they want to help you. You want to help them um, get to their destination safely. So that's definitely a kind of a side thing that you can do and boost your earnings income. Now, the last thing that I'm going to mention to you, tip number four, I call it providing the ultimate experience. So what do you guys do to wow your passengers, right? Um, you know, Lyft's done a great job revamping the tip screen. And, you know, so now with Lyft, right, it's really easy for the passengers to tip. So if you're going above and beyond, then you're probably going to get rewarded. Now, being a rideshare driver isn't like other service industries. Tips aren't expected. You're not going to get 10 to 15% even if you do a poor job, right? You're only really going to get a tip if you're going above and beyond. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, you know, you can't really expect tips, but if they do come about, then, you know, that's great. Um, you know, a couple, you know, I like to really wow. I like to do things to really wow the passengers. I can give you guys a couple good examples of drivers that I've talked to that are really wowing their passengers. And it's not even necessarily something, you know, you don't need to provide a suite of candy and gum and things like that. You can even, I like investing in things that are going to be able, you're going to be able to reuse over and over, or maybe even in your personal life. I mean, I know that I had, I talked to a driver who was always uh, picking up passengers outside of uh, sports games you know, over in LA. And so he was always picking up Lakers and Clippers and Kings fans. And so he actually set up a little tablet 
right there in his car. So whenever he picked up passengers, he had the tablet going. And I mean, that right there is guaranteed five stars, guaranteed lit, or guaranteed tip, you know, when these passengers get out and they're able to leave the game early and they still get to see it on TV. So uh, those are my four tips. Hopefully you guys enjoyed them and uh, hopefully you guys will be earning more income in, in this, uh, you know, January, February months, beginning of the month. Get off to a great start. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. So uh, that was my podcast for Lyft. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy taking a little behind the scenes look. Um, you know, I tried to come up with, you know, basically four things. I've kind of already touched on them a little bit on my site and my podcast. But, you know, a lot of drivers out there don't always think about these kind of things. And basically, you know, a lot of the tips that I get, you might not necessarily go out and use them immediately. But, you know, one of the whole reasons why I like doing that last podcast, episode number 12, um, with the side hustle drivers, because it really gets people thinking, hey, what can, what can I do? What can I offer passengers that other, riot, other drivers aren't doing? So those are the kind of some of the things you can consider when you're out there. So uh, hopefully the Lyft will enjoy this uh, version. If you end up listening to the podcast and it doesn't sound anything like that, it's probably because they made me do it over. I'm only going to do this video once, though. So. All right. Cheers, guys.